Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we are going to be doing some mini mines into England 6. I have Board G here. Wetlands is starting. That makes me sad. Um, I guess we'll take the Blight to scale on G2. We'll, we will defend my G4 and we'll go from there. Or what if I skip my G2 instead? With a boon of bedevilment, or uh, with a um, dreadful tide. And maybe I'm gonna just skip it. Let's let's see how it looks. With playing um multiplying swarm here, I can get some serious value. There's the explorer. G2, top top. What I'm able to do is something like this. And when I play my guide plus my dreadful tide, I can skip this. Skip the blade. I can pair up my Dahan over here on G4. Something like Move, move, leave the the uh, beast here, play around beast damage, and then I can left innate, gather beasts into here. And I'll have my defend. And what's pretty awesome about this is now I'm also, um, I have all of the Dahan events lined up and my beasts are here too. So this is, this is pretty solid. Um, beast push, this is exactly what we were hoping for. So yeah, this is... Excellent for us. Um, and Cities Rise is um, also okay. Because I can Cities Rise, and this comes with the Han defense. This land will still get cleared. Beast Push means that this land gets solved. I could push this Explorer somewhere. Um, if I throw here, I'll have 3, 4, 5. That is still enough because the Han defend. Skip the Ravage. There's all of that. Explorer. All right. Only sad part with how this played out is I really wish my Dahan, I wish these lands were switched, right? Like I'm a tempo ahead, like I can easily defend this, but I have no Dahan there. But let's see, we're going to G2 bottom, bottom. And we'll go into my G1 here. Let's get a minor, and we're looking for Dahan movements. Uh, we didn't get it. I mean, we did get Rot Flies and Bat Scout. I mean, Bat Scout technically is Dahan movement. It also is Air Animal, which is amazing on us. But I think Rot Flies is actually the pick here. And that is um, similar reasons, but it also adds disease and can generate fear. But Devil doesn't really matter. Um, and actually, I'm going to... Ah, see, I made a slight error. I wish I could have placed my presence um, slightly differently. I actually don't think it would matter now that I think about it. Um, let's do my left innate... <laughs> I wonder if this is the game I use Bedevil on myself just because of how cheesy this is. Ah, screw it. I, I think um, I think I've showcased this matchup enough where I didn't use it, and I think I can have a lot of fun doing it this way. So let's do Bedevil on myself, and you guys can just see how powerful this is. Yeah, I'm supposed to create a sacred site here, but um, let's go top. Beast, beast, beast. Yeah, so left innate here. We can go beast, 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 beast. Push you to there. And I can push the town into here. Oh, right, right. I have to do this incorrectly. We want to first do... Let's do it this way. Beast, beast, beast. Beast. Pursue. Throw the town. Throw the explorer. And then we bedevil. Beautiful. Just like this. And then we have to defend nicely here if I'd like. Um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty strong. Defend four there. This is somewhat sad. Not the end of the world. It just means that this town has to go inland. I could actually throw two lands inland. Does this come? No, it gives me to hunt defend. Ooh, panic. Do it here. And by doing this, I've actually stopped the mountain build. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Without Bedevil, I would have ended up taking a Blight here. 
which is not the end of the world, of course, but just shows you just how busted this is. Um, what's really sad, though, is because if we have the back-to-back -back here, and um, this land would have been pocketed if it weren't for that event that moved that town inland. So, somewhat sad. Uh, I guess we go like this, and we do rot flies here. I guess we just allowed these lands to build up and we just defend on the follow-up here. Do I have a fear card? Oh, I do. Ah, if that's the case, we'll put a disease. Just take this... Yeah, just let all of these lands build up and then um, we'll just come in and defend down the road. Okay, let's just reclaim, get a miner, see what we can get. Call to guard, amazing, spur, amazing. Um... Sure sees call to trade. Not bad cards. I'm just going to go with the best card there. And I think we just play our one costs. It sucks that I'm paying one costs, but or, but I think I think it will um, be helpful down the road. And then I can gain some tempo by playing like I'll play less majors, but I'll be able to disrupt the board. I guess next try I go G2 bottom bottom. I guess this is fine. I really want the energy, but... You know, we definitely do this, and let's go beast, beast, beast. And we do this. And I'm gonna just use Bedevil on myself again. I'm I never, never take this card on myself, so. Sure. Oh, God. Temporary Truce. Seriously? So sad. Um, I mean, I guess here. Guess we just kill that. Oh, um... So I'm going to do this a little bit differently. And that is because I don't want to get two fear cards this turn. I'm going to go explore like this. Now I'll have a fear card next turn as well. Sure. I... There we go. Beautiful. Build again. Wetlands is the follow-up. I need to escalate. We're going to escalate into my inland wetlands. I, or inland jungle so that will go up to five buildings then six it could go to seven it's just very dangerous if wetlands comes up again i think this is fine just debating if it's best to use it on here instead maybe it is and i can just re-add the disease multiplying swarm be able to set up to Han here, take the my first blight on G6. Yeah, I mean this is I actually might be able to defend both of them. Three, four, five, six, seven. Technically I can defend both, right? Because I have I drew call to guard. Like if I G2 bottom bottom here, I can go something like Sacred Sites. Let's see if I can go here. Something like this. Call to guard defense four. I then move stuff over to here. Wonder if it's worth it though. I think we do this, and I can push that to there. Nate, defend seven. Oh, it's only defend four. Ah, if this is the case, then I just take the blight, right? I mean, I guess I could push two towns in the explorer out. I just throw them into the uh, land G8. Problem is I get another card here. I think it's probably okay, right? 
Town, town, explorer. Could also dreadful tide. I really wanted the fear. Don't think I want to. Both lands are defended. Oh, there's beast damage. That actually kills the city. Sad to look at none of these invaders are going to die here. Because there's not enough invaders. Choose for me. Ooh, skip the build. That's really sad. Explore is... That's really sad for us. <laughs> I guess I go here. Reason why is we ended up getting um, that second fear card here. Skip all invaders. It's like I would have been able to skip. Oh, I guess it actually didn't hit any lands anyway. But it sucks because I'm not going to get a, a, a Ravage step. And I also didn't kill these two buildings. I guess it is what it is. We can get another miner here. We'll play Multiplying Swarm. There's no Ravage, so... Just teching towards fear. Uh, these are garbage. You might say, oh, look, it called it Hanways, which is what I'll grab, but I don't want to play more ones. We could do this, this, this. Uh, I, I don't want to play three ones. It's so bad. But I don't think I have another choice. Need the fear. I have Bedevil. Doesn't matter. We're going to definitely take Blight now. Because I only... Oh god, that, that one uh, that one fear card is so bad for us. Because we only have a defend once a turn. And now I'm going to have doubled up on Ravages. So I'm just completely overloaded. Let me not play this, play this instead. Throw that there. Throw that there. You could do this. And we'll take the blights nicely on my um On my uh, my G was it G eight? Well prepared explorers. Ooh, beast fear. This is nasty. Oh gosh. This is what a gather. Uh, does this matter? I don't think so. I mean, I guess I can gather that explorer out. Ooh, that's really good. Cause I plan on defending that. Oh, skip builds. Oh god. <laughs> That's really... This is a good one. <laughs> oh, I was supposed to play a moon card. I wanted to upgrade this as what it is. We'll be okay. I guess... Here? Coast? And they don't explore... Yeah, that's pretty... Pretty nice. Let's go replace that... Okay, so I think we're okay at this point. I think we G2 top top. Um, we have the skip lined up for G2. We defend my G4. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a pretty decent spot to be in. That one fear card made up for it. The uh, skipping builds and explorers and lands with beast six. I can do this here. I have Dreadful Tide. How much fear do I need to get to tier 3? Almost. I could do a second one. Let's skip two, two actions. Oh, I should probably do this in the other order. Guide first. Sacred Sight, Beast, Beast, Sacred Sight. Yep. Call to guard. Defend 5. And... I guess I also have a defend, what is it, I get extra four fear. I do it somewhere, like, or extra three fear, I guess. Um, if this skips, 
Oh gosh, so both my wetlands and mountains are going to build and then ravage next turn. This land's going to go to five. I think we do this. Beast push, xenophobia, sure. What do I want to do with this? Does this come with Don defend? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I could actually push this town here. Or I could push this town here. 3, 6, 9, 10. Tear 3. Remove a town explorer from any land. Oh, beautiful. Oh, man, I was so close to creating a bit of a pocket here. Oh, let's actually get rid of that. Play around edge cases. Skip the ravage. Blighted. First blight of the game. Skip the build. Yeah, so I got rid of this town in case it was uh, going to come up again. Luckily, it didn't. I have... Another rot flies here. I think what I want to do is push everything out into my G2, set up to Han into my G2, and defend these. And this is where, like, Bedevil is just, like, so busted, right? Do rot flies there, add the disease. Ooh, or do I just go fear? Oh, yeah, no, it's just fear. Three fear is just so strong. And we've reclaimed, get a major. At this point, um, none of these really do anything. Transform is kind of meme-y. I mean, unrelenting is unrelenting. It's amazing, but... I mean, at this point in the game, and actually, probably unrelenting is probably better than... Uh, Call of the Dahan ways. Good Dreadful Tide. Ah, not nah, screw it. We're, we've been doing Bedevil all game like this. Yeah, Pursue, like I said. Let's throw these guys... Oh, actually... I wanted to get Han into my G2. And we do guide, pick up the pick up the Dahan. In G4, into G2. And the defend. Beast, beast, beast. I think we do this. That looks pretty good. What is this? Purge the land? Uh-oh. That's hilarious. That, like, never happens too, right? On defend, sure. Move five or something from it. Okay. Um, I guess here. Just trying to get enough fear to win. Just need four fear to win the game. Sure. And we just reclaim, get another major. And actually what we'll do is we'll get talons, because that's that is the most Mimi that we can get with. And I can kill three adjacent towns because I threshold the talons. There it is. So a very fun game with the many mines. That was good. Let's analyze what happened this game. I mean, we have board G, so it's a bad many mines board. 
Wetlands starting was... Um, was it unfavorable? We were able to defend this. We skipped this. Jungles came up. Jungles came up again. We ha Oh, that's what happened. We had the um, invader search inland, which is unfortunate. Moving that building inland. But the first um, event, Cities Rise, was great because it allows us to disrupt this build here on RG7. But um, So that allowed us to uh, better defend this land on, um, on our, what is this, G6, I think. We used Bedevil on ourself this game, uh, and, and like I said, you, you don't need it. Um, it just gives you more actions. It trivializes the matchup. Um, it allowed us to do a very cool play, pushing the town out of G8 into G7, defend both lands. Um, was was really cool, and that prevented this mountain from building over here. Um, really, I think Bedevil this game, it also stopped a Blight here on G1 uh, that very last turn. So I think Bedevil netted us plus two Blight. But we also um, had some pretty bad drafts. I mean, Rot Flies. I mean, we made it work. It's not exciting on us. Um, what are some of the other cards we drafted? Uh, Call the Tahanwis. Yeah, really, these cards are just not... They're not bad cards. Just not what we're looking for. Um, and then, yeah, of course, our Major's Talons, as well as Unrelenting Growth, were both uh, medium. If you like this video, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.